Now, many of us may be feeling chilly at the moment. We'll have more on that in a moment. But there are visitors coming here to escape even colder climes. There has been an increase in the number of short-eared owls seen along the east coast. And they've come from Scandinavia and from Russia. One person died and 11 were missing after flash floods hit near Lake Toba in Indonesia's North Sumatra province, with scores of people evacuated and rescue efforts underway. the bushes, sparking concerns among residents and officials from the forest department. When it comes to hail, bigger definitely isn't better. Oh, we're up with one. And the frozen missiles sent down from this cell were giant. It's all right. We are safe. Gimpy battered by hailstones bigger than tennis balls, a barrage that couldn't be escaped. Record snow is falling in Moscow as parts of Siberia fall to minus 60 degrees Celsius. The biggest dumping of snow resulted in more than 35 centimetres in just one day in Russia's capital. Temperatures in and around Moscow are forecast to fall to minus 40 degrees later in the week, more than twice as cold as it is currently. Powerful cascading torrents tore across communities near Seattle. Fueled by days of drenching rain, dangerous walls of water triggered flood alerts for some 9 million across the Pacific Northwest. At least five raging rivers are threatening to breach their banks, some already partially submerging homes, cars and roads.
Today, marine biologists will try to move a 50-foot fin whale that washed up dead on a San Diego beach. Scientists will also try to figure out why the whale died. They say there was no obvious signs of death. Nothing. With whipping winds and torrential rain, a monster storm is leaving behind a mess for millions tonight after barreling up the East Coast. 
Wind gusts topping 60 miles an hour in at least seven states today, downing trees onto homes and cars and wiping out power to nearly 800,000 at one point. Residents in Northeast Council Bluffs say they heard two nights ago. The heavy rain flooded streets at stranded drivers and made a mess inside dozens of homes and kept first responders scrambling. The worst of the storm hit in the middle of the night, catching many people off guard, waking up to water everywhere. This is as close as it gets to a white Christmas in Queensland. The southeast smashed by a severe summer storm overnight that came with little warning and announced itself with a deafening roar. Backyards were blown apart, while Tingalpa residents watched as their furniture rearranged itself. Rows of parked cars, no match for the storm's wrath. Against such ferocity, there's nothing their owners could do. Larger than 10 centimetres, some hailstones were as big as softballs.
Wild weather lashed the states of Victoria, New South Wales and Queensland on December 25th and 26th. It brought large hailstones, torrential rains and strong winds which blew off roofs and brought down trees.